In this video, we're going to create a sunburst clock. We're working in the front view, and we have on ortho and object snap. So we'll use a circle with a 2 inch radius to start. Then we'll create a vertical line from the center point of the circle straight up 10 inches. Off to the side, we'll create a horizontal line that's one inch long. Then we will move it from the midpoint to the base of that initial line we drew. Then using our line command, we'll connect the ends to make the triangle and erase that initial line and join the triangle together. Then off to the side, we'll create the hands of the clock. We'll create a vertical line that's four inches tall a horizontal at point 0.1, straight up at 4, and point 0.1 to close. Zooming in on that, we'll create an ellipse starting at this midpoint, out 0.5, and up 0.25. Then we'll use our trim command. get rid of these extra lines and erase that final one. We'll use J for join to create one continuous polyline. We'll create the other hand in a very similar fashion. Line straight up at three inches, a horizontal line at point two, and we'll move it from the midpoint to the base of the line. We will connect it to create a triangle and delete that original line. We will make another large triangle to go on top. It will be one inch wide, a line going from the midpoint straight up, a half inch, and connecting each side. Delete the original line joined together. We will move it from the center point to the top of this line and then down 0.25. We'll clean this up using the trim command to get rid of these extra lines inside. J for join and we have one continuous polyline. Now we're going to rotate this hand 90 degrees. I will turn off ortho and object snap for the time being and move this element over to match the picture, something like this. And then We'll rotate both of these hands to about like that. Okay, so over here we're going to use the extrude command on the circle and we'll extrude that 0.25. Then we'll use the extrude command on the triangle at negative 0.255. We will use the array command, select the triangle, choose polar, pick this base point, I'll turn ortho back on, not ortho, object snaps rather, and then we want 12 Enter, enter. Oh, it didn't like the 12. Well, that's okay. We can select that, come in for number of items, and say 12. Perfect. Close array. Now we have our basic clock shape and the face of the clock. Off to the side here, we have the two hands. So we will do 
extrude and pick the triangular hand and extrude it at negative 0.1, enter. We'll extrude this hand at 0.1, enter. I will turn off object snaps and we will move the hands over to something about like this. Then if we go to a side view, we can see that we simply need to move the hands out, turning on ortho, at 0.35. Now if we look at this in a southwest isometric view, and perhaps turn it into something like conceptual, we can see that we have the sunburst clock.